So my native beehive is probably dead because there's been no bees flying in or out of it in the past few days. I'm puzzled as to what has happened to it. But I've got my friend Ian Cameron here and we're going to open it up and see what the problem is. And yep, there's your problem. There are giant masses of thyroid fly maggots and they've changed all of the all of the hive into just this brown blackish mush and they've eaten all the bees, everything's dead, so that's the problem obviously. Here you've got a small hive beetle, that's not much of a problem because they appear when the hive has died. It's the, no there's a native hive beetle, it's the small hive beetle you've got to worry about, it invades the hive and kills everyone as well. Here's a cyphrid fly, this is one of the worst pests of native bees, but they're easy to control due to their large size. Their Latin name is Seriana ornata. And they look like a wasp to avoid predators. Here you have a sheep blowfly just trying to be opportunistic with all this honey that's just lying around. You've got, this is the main predator. This is the thyroid fly. And they are one of the worst pests of native bees in Australia. And, and they look a lot like a native bee, but they're only half the size. And they move around really erratically. And they can sneak past the guards and lay their eggs, seal the bees inside and eat every last bee, every last larva, everything in the hive. And here's the entry and exit tube. You can see that it's covered in garbage pellets. This shows that the bees were doing well. And now I'm just scraping out the top of the hive because we can't have any of that left if we are going to put another hive in. And I'm scraping out some maggots and some honey comb for my blind snakes. And here's what I'm talking about. This is what thyroid fly maggots do to your hive. They make it all this black, brownish mush, and it's completely inedible. It's hor horrible smelling. It smells a lot like a rotting carcass. We're going to keep some of the honey and put it in these bottles. And the bottles are just going to drill... And you've got to mix some vinegar in just so then you can smell both the honey and the vinegar. And we're going to drill 2.5 millimeter holes, which are just big enough for the thyroid to enter, but no other species can. So we aren't decimating bees as well. So now we've got the wire and we'll go and hang it from a few trees and... And it should work. There's already a thyroid in there, that little black dot there. And we'll come back in maybe a few months or so and collect them. And you can see the cyphrid is attacking it, but that's it. 